Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour Micro HMI object text um, object. So if we look at our menu up here on our Seymour Micro software, you'll see the, where we have our text function and we actually have five different text functions that we can actually utilize. So I've already uh, created a page and that page is called page 11 and we just call it text and I have my common menu on the bottom of the screen which we use the background screen 100 for. So if we go back to 100 um, and we look at the screen selector we make sure that under the screen selector we actually have that text screen located there so we can actually select it. So that's all set up for us already and we'll just go back to our text file here and the first one we have here is our static text which is this one right here. So we've grabbed the under the parts uh, list, we've grabbed the static text um, from sample number three, pull it up onto my, my screen. Now in the, if we double click on that, what you'll see is that my, my text itself just says ACC automation. And we have um, our frame size we can change. We have our text color, we have our background color. We can also change our alignment. So our alignment, we can have centering down below, up. So we've we've hit up the top, uh, middle centering, and then we can change our font. We can do classic fonts. We can also do our Windows fonts, and we just hit the font. And in our case here, we did a font size of 10. We did bold. So. Um, we can change different types of fonts, fonts that way. Cancel that. On our color itself, our background color and our text color, it'll actually come up with a color palette that we can actually uh, put in whatever we want. So in this case here, we've we've chosen a green color, and we just say okay. And then once we have these handles, we can actually resize that uh, text box to whatever we would like. So that is the static text. It just puts text up onto the screen in order to um, indicate exactly what that uh, screen is doing um, in our program. So the next one, if we look up, we have a lookup text. Now the lookup text, which is this one right here, um, there is no pre-built parts. So what we'll do is just double click on it. Now what it will allow us to do is to take a tag name and within that tag name, we specify the tag name itself. In our case here is MHR50. And based on MHR50, it will call up predetermined tags that we have within that word. So as we call up the word and, and we have a number in that word, it will automatically call up um, the message that we want. So in our case here, we have three different messages that we've programmed in here. The first one is our text size is six by eight black and it just says switch number 10 which will be on our do more simulator our our message number two is 8 by 16 it's going to be red it's going to beep actually three times and it's going to say switch number 11 and then our message number three is going to be 8 by 16 again it's going to be green in color and it's going to say switch number 12 and then when that value is zero um, in MHR 50 then we won't see any message whatsoever so we just close that and we can add more messages as we want and you'll see also all the basic colors and everything actually are the same similar to our static text so that is our lookup text then we have dynamic text and in dynamic text what this will do is it will actually um, it will actually take a look at a memory location within the PLC and then turn that into an ASCII characters and display automatically for us onto our screen for us. So that is dynamic text. We double click it and again all we're doing is we have a uh, similar outfit as before. We have we can label it. We have our text color. We have a background color. We're doing uh, red with on top of green in this case here, our alignment, our text sizes, then we have our trigger tag. So this, this means when this is either off or on, you allow the text to be displayed. So this could be used for alarms. 
as a as an option. Then we have a store uh, the string tag. So this is we used MHR60, and this tells us where that string information is going to be coming from. Now, as always, under the options under our uh, object list, we have the visibility. So this is true for all five different uh, text objects. So we'll just hit OK or cancel. Then our next one is going to be our scrolling. Now our scrolling text, what it will do is specify um, a text that message that we want on the screen. And typically in this case, if it's too large to actually be displayed in one area, it'll scroll across the screen for us at a predetermined rate. And in our case here, we have a color. We have the uh, red on the green background and our alignment, our text size could be eight by 16. And our, under our option, we can actually put it visible or not visible as mentioned before. So in this particular case, we'll just say uh, cancel on that one. So we just put ACC up automation and we're gonna see that message uh, scroll across the screen for us. Then we have text or text entry. And so that was scroll message. Now we have text uh, entry. And text entry, what it will allow us to do is actually program in or, or actually uh, call up a menu and allow the user to input uh, characters into our field for us. And in this particular case, what we're going to do is use a tag name MHR60, the same one we used um, for our dynamic text. So as information is entered into this text then it will be displayed also in our dynamic text so again we can set up our text color background color the size the alignment and um, once we hand in our object style so style 2 is used for our our um, screens with our keypad to the right hands or right hand side or below and uh, style number one is used for our touch screen, which will, is what we have currently. Hit cancel for that. All right, so that is our text features and our, all five of our different text features that we can be done with our Seymour Micro HMI. So next, what we'll do is we will actually um, look at our actual screen itself. Here I'm connected, and what we'll do is first of all send this project to our panel yes we'll save all the changes we compile it and then what we can do is hit transfer so we're transferring that information over now and since we're using ethernet it's going relatively quickly so that i'm complete right now so we'll hit ok now what's in um, my software is now in my actual screen so let's just go screen select and we'll just go to our text field and enter so the first thing we can see is our static text which is right up here it's saying ACC automation our next is our lookup text now our lookup text will actually um, be looking for uh, the value in MHR 50. And in this case here, we have to write a little bit of uh, ladder code. So if I call up my do more software, I have my text object, my lookup code. If I hit X10, it puts the number one into MHR 50. If I hit X, X11, it puts two. X12 puts three. And there's my three messages that I've pre-programmed. And then if none of those switches are on, then it puts zero into MHR 50, which then resets it. So let's just call it the actual simulator itself, which is here. So X10, we have it come up switch number 10. Turn that off, switch 11. It actually beeps three times and puts switch 11 on. Turn that off, put switch 12 and it comes up switch number 12 onto my screen. So that's working exactly as we intended it to. So that is our lookup text. 
Now next what we have is our dynamic text and our dynamic text is actually uh, indicated right down here and that actually will go with our input text or text entry. So let's just hit our entry text entry and now we can actually write something here. Let's go A C C and then we'll go space automation and we just made it here there and then M A uh, we'll just hit backspace again Let's just go ACC Auto for now, and then we'll hit Enter. Once we hit Enter, you'll see that automatically appears as text in our entry, but also puts it in our dynamic, which just points to a location within our controller to find that information. So that seems to work 100% uh, correctly. And the last one we had, or we looked at, was the scrolling text, and the scrolling text is located right up here and you can see as we are looking at our display it's actually scrolling around and just um, putting our message across the screen now the interesting thing to watch when using the scrolling text if I call that up is um, the fact that when we look at the scrolling text we have to make sure that if we want to scroll it right off the screen we must also put in some blank characters that way it goes all the way off the screen and starts again like we see right here uh, with the beginning again okay so all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca and if you like this video and like to see more there are three ways in which you can help us out you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have you can subscribe to our YouTube channel you can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.